Hello everybody, this is our second tutorial on SAP 2000, the 14th version. So today we are going to see again how to draw shear force and bending moment diagram for a frame. In the last video we have seen how to draw shear force and bending, bending moment diagram for a simple beam. And now we have uh, this frame that consists of a beam and columns here and here. It is fixed support here and there's a, fi uh, the, a pin support here. And we have this kind of loading, a uniformly varying load here. And here you have one concentrated load downward in the negative Z direction. And we have one uh, point load here at this joint in the positive X direction so we are going to draw the uh, shear force and bending moment diagram for this in addition we will see uh, uh, the axial force diagram and other things so please follow till the end so let's start again in this uh, question we will neglect the self weight of the beam so this is my software sub 2000 so always as we said we will see here next then this is a tips whenever you open the software this thing will pop up so if you want to have other tips you can say okay otherwise don't show me here show tips at the start you can untick here and it will disappear in the next uh, time when you are opening so so our first step is to correct the units so my unit is kilonewton for force and for distance it is meter and degree celsius for temperature so uh, i will start new file new model new model so now here i have a 2d frame system here so i will select 2d frame system here Okay, I can select this blank uh, or this one, I can edit it, but now in the last video we saw how to use this beam element in the template and now we are going to see the 2D frame uh, element. So let me click here. So here it asks me the number of stories and the number of base. Number of story is the floors in the vertical direction, so I have here only one floor okay you can see this one is one floor so this is one story okay bay is from here up to here from one column to the to the other column so here i have only two columns so there is one bay only if i have three columns i will have two bays but now two column one bay so here i have number of stories is one and number of bays is also one i can edit this element here or I can go to this uh, use custom grid spacing and I can edit it here. Anyhow, let, let me edit here. Story height, it is 3.5. You can see it here. 3.5 here. And the bay distance is 3 plus 2, it is 5 meters. So the bay width is 5. So after this, let me edit it here. Edit grid data. Here it says negative 2.5 and positive 2.5. But if you uh, see here, our axis A is at 0 and axis B is at 5. So here my axis A is at 0x because this is the x grid data and B is at 5. And here the y because it is only two uh, 2d frame element we will not have uh, will only make y grid data by this default we will leave it like this and here when we come to the z grid data z1 is at zero fine and z2 is the top uh, floor and it is where our beam is uh, lying it's here so here it is zero z and here it is 3.5 so it's okay here so now i will say okay here section properties i will leave it by the default because i am not going to design this beam i am only analyzing and i want the shear force and the bending moment diagram for this frame 
so it's unnecessary to edit this for now but in the next video i will show you how to use this uh, how to edit frame sections so okay now i have my frame so if you see here you have pin support here and you have a fixed support here so let me adjust this this is the fix it so select it go to the assign go to joint then go to restraints now i will select the fix it icon so then i will say okay now this is fixed and this is pin so it is correct so now i will define the loads go to define here then load pattern here by default the software defines dead load but now i will not consider the self weight of the beam or the frame and i will not apply any dead load there's only an externally applied loads so i can call that another name whatever i want or i can call it even dead whatever but for me for this example i will call it applied loads so now dead self weight multiplier i will make it zero because i don't want to consider the self weight of the frame so i will say here modify load pattern now it's it's zero now i will define my own load applied and the type is i can select other so add new load pattern so i have defined my applied load here so if i want i can delete this again dead delete because i don't want it i only want to consider apply loads then okay now after i have applied i have uh, defined the load i can apply it on the frame so let me apply it here let me select the beam always when you are assigning loads you have to select the element that you are going to assign on the load so i have selected this go to assign then frame loads then distributed load now check the load pattern applied okay force i can select this one or this one whatever it does not matter because it is there's no any other loads so i will come here trapezoidal loads then let me see here at x equal to zero because it is x is zero here and it will be here five so at this initial point that is joint i it is zero and at three it is 20 and after that we don't have any distributed load so here i will select absolute distance from end i at distance zero i have load zero at distance 3 I have load of 20 kilo newtons I will say okay now I see this so this is perfectly what I wanted again let me apply the concentrated load here select assign frame loads here point so this point load is at a distance of four meter from in the eye this initial uh, joint so let me select again absolute distance from in the eye now i will say add to existing load because if i leave it like this it will delete this uniform uh, varying load and it will only apply one concentrated load so add to existing load and absolute distance from in the eye i will say at four meter I have how much 50 kilo newtons so 50 kilo newtons so I will say okay so the 50 kilo newton load is applied here so again the last load that I have is a point load at this joint so I will select this joint then I will say assign joint loads here force now here it asks me load pattern it's okay kilo newton the unit is okay now you have force global x y z and the moments x y z now my force is in the direction of the positive x axis so i will say the global force x 
So, and since it is in the positive direction, 10 kilo newton, I will say here positive only 10. If it had been in the opposite, I will have to write neg negative here. So, this is all, and I will say, okay, now I have 10 kilo newton at this joint. Now you see that the other forces has disappeared. In order to see or in order to view all the loads, I will go to display load assigns, then apply load. Yeah, so I will see now all the loads applied on the frame. Now the next step is to run the analysis. So the shortcut is here, or you can uh, click on you can press F5. Now I only want to run the analysis for applied load, not for date and the model. So I will say do not run. It says here run. I will make it do not run. So now I say run now. It will ask me to save the file. So I will save it. Then uh, the results will be uh, displayed. Okay, so let me say tutorial to tutorial to and save. Now this uh, window will show me the deformed shape, and this is the normally undeformed shape. So now, if our aim is to see the shear force diagram. Go here, frames and cables, the shear force 2 2 as we discussed in the previous video, and show the values on diagram and say OK. So, this is the shear force diagram for the beam for the frame. If I want the bending one diagram, I will go here, frames and cables, then moment 3 3. Why? I already explained it in the first video, please. Uh, view that video it is uh, it is clearly explained there so like this click and you will get the bending moment diagram for the whole frame if I want to see the axial load diagram I think maybe some of you have not heard about this let me say the axial force okay so you have axial force in this column and axial force in this column and a very small axial force in the beam element 0 0.59 compression and 22.79 compression here and 57.21 compression here if i want to see the support reactions here and here i can go uh, here and I can say joints because it is a support there's a joint then show all results or I can untick it here it says here F1 0.51 F3 it is the axial force 22.79 uh, and there's a moment here because there is this support is fixed you will have a moment here there is around 8.93 kilonewton meter moment but when you come here you have only these forces no bending moment at this joint because this joint is a pin support and it does not support moment okay so here you have moment here we don't have moment this is all for this video until next video goodbye see you next time